the ICMR and AIIMS, published on 22nd April 2021, states that monitoring of KFT-LFT is directly associated with the severity of the COVID-19 infection. They jointly recommend testing of KFT and LFT parameters every 24 to 48 hours for moderately infected patients and daily for severely infected patients. First, let's understand how COVID affects the kidneys. It has been observed that the patients having kidney-related problems are at a higher risk of contracting COVID-19. This is because patients on dialysis tend to have weaker immune systems, making them susceptible to contracting the virus. Patients that have undergone kidney transplant usually take anti-rejection medicines which thereby decrease the body's immunity to fight against the virus. Let's now understand which parameters related to kidneys are correlated with COVID. Urea, a nitrogen-containing substance, is normally cleared from the blood by the kidney and into the urine. And creatinine, a waste product formed by the normal breakdown of muscle cells, generally gets elevated at the beginning of the COVID infection. Urea can go as high as 42.5 mgdl. The normal range of creatinine is 0.7 to 1.2 mgdl. But in COVID-19, it doubles to 2.58 mgdl. This evidence proves that the kidneys are affected due to COVID-19. Uric acid, a product found in blood, was found to be elevated in 90% patients and hence it might be a good specificity indicator of mortality in COVID-19 patients. Most patients with COVID-related AKI or acute kidney injury who recover continue to have low kidney function after discharge from the hospital. This study helps us to conclude that patients hospitalized with COVID-19 are twice as likely to develop acute kidney injury or AKI as compared to non-hospitalized patients. Acute kidney injury appears to be a marker of COVID-19 infection severity and the mortality rate is higher for these patients. Now that we have understood how the kidney is affected in COVID, let's take a look at what happens to the liver the first organ that is affected due to COVID-19. CRP, a protein found in the liver, is one of the biomarkers that rise early during COVID and is used to gauge the severity of the disease. The CRP test differentiates COVID from other illnesses as it generally does not rise in the first few days. CRP rises and falls gradually in COVID. It spikes in the first four to six hours and can increase and double in eight hours. Gamma GT is the first enzyme that increases when contracted with COVID. This is followed by SGOT and SGPT, which doubles in COVID. SGOT values are still higher than SGPT. So, according to the severity of the disease, including the extent of respiratory distress, and the need of ICU admission, SGOT and SGPT are elevated more frequently and to a greater extent in patients with severe COVID-19 than those with mild disease. Acurex, a manufacturer of biochemistry reagents for the past 36 years, provides a combined package of the KFT-LFT parameters. Acurex your partner in fighting the COVID war.